Last month, I made the decision to put Bitcoin Mystery School, the novice initiation courses on hold. I have a lot of other projects going on. I wanted to spend more time focused on the students, hundreds of students who had already been initiated, who had already done the novice course and get them into the wallet class, get them coding, spend more time, which I'm still going to do. However, with things that have happened in crypto in the last month, what has come to me is that, in fact, the novice initiation class shouldn't be stopped, but it should have a revamped curriculum. When I began the process with Bitcoin Mystery School, almost two years ago now, we were in a different place in terms of crypto. The market was different. People's ideas were different. But we're coming back into another cycle. We've had another crash. We're in the flat part of a bear market. A lot of people got wrecked. A lot of people have left the space. But the people who are sticking around have realized that maybe they didn't have all of the information about what Bitcoin and this crypto stuff actually is. The people who are interested, these have turned out in past cycles to be the people who have stuck around the longest and made the biggest contribution are the people who actually humbly said, ooh, I thought this was one thing, but it turns out it's really a different thing. And the numbers are showing that, particularly the numbers in my bank account, because I've lost some money. So many of us have said that it's an expensive lesson. We've all learned these expensive lessons uh, about Bitcoin and what Bitcoin is and our incorrect presuppositions. One of the things that is bringing me back to this is I saw this week something pretty remarkable. And that was an article in Bitcoin Magazine by an editorial, by a contributor to Bitcoin Magazine that wound up getting put onto Zero Hedge speaking about how a misunderstanding, the overall misunderstanding in the space uh, regarding Bitcoin is really contributing to some of the problems that we're seeing even at a regulatory level around the world and that it's something that we have to fix. This was by uh, Beautyon. He's the, or she, they are the CEO of Azteco. And I couldn't believe it, but right in the article, right there in black and white, it said, referring to Bitcoin, it is not and never has been money in the conventional sense. Just because people use this database as money doesn't mean that Bitcoin is money. And Bitcoin is not money is something that I have been saying since 2019. And that when I first started saying it in the summer of 2019, there was a lot of pushback. Interesting to see that as mainstream as you can go when it comes to discussing crypto, that is zero hedge. This article probably read by millions of people right here, not a fringe view, but in fact, the mainstream view appearing in Bitcoin magazine, where, by the way, Vitalik Buterin, founder of Ethereum, got his, got his public start as an author and an editor there at Bitcoin magazine. So one of the old school OG publications to actually say in a Bitcoin magazine that Bitcoin is not money. Beautiful. I think beautiful, because when we start to discuss what Bitcoin really is, then we can start adding real value to the space and to our lives as well. This Bitcoin is not money idea is something that I explain in Bitcoin Mystery School. And many people, dozens of people have come to me and said, this changed my whole outlook, not just on investing, not just on Bitcoin, but on the world that we're living in. And I think that's very, very important. I mean, when we were back in this phase of the last crash and flat piece of this, back in November 2018, I admonished, and I said this many times, but this was basically the first time in public that I said, I said, I tweeted, if you want the price to go back up, get back to asking the question, what is Bitcoin? If you want the price to keep dropping, keep acting like you know the answer. I stand by that. What is Bitcoin is an incredibly important question, especially right now. Now we have the opportunity. This is what they say, bear markets or builder markets. Asking those questions in the past, back in 2017, back in 2018, 
getting these glimpses, being willing to say Bitcoin is something else, something other than what people think, is how everyone who has made an impact in this space has approached it over the years. We're in that time. So although uh, it is going to be extra work, I do enjoy you know, working with the hundreds of people who are a part of the Bitcoin Mystery School community. But also I think now is the time for the teachings that we have within this community. So Bitcoin Mystery School for August. I took July off of doing the novice initiation, but the novice initiation is open for August. You wanna know what that means? Bitcoin is not money but yet that it's actually valuable, we're gonna delve into that. You wanna understand what has made these tokens valuable? You wanna understand why did I think to spend money on something that eventually went to zero? I'm talking to you, Luna. Why did I, what was going on with me? That's one of the mysteries of Bitcoin. Actually, that human psychology is built right into Bitcoin. Most people don't know that. That's in the novice initiation. Not only that, Web3, DeFi, the basis of how do we start to have a decentralized economy, the basis is cryptography, by the way, and the cryptography that's in Bitcoin. This as well, we discuss in Bitcoin Mystery School. So we've got a newly revamped curriculum. Same mysteries, but for 2022, for what's going on right now, putting it all into context. Would love to see you there. August, we're moving from the first week to the second week. So second weekend in August. Bitcoin Mystery School. You can go to bitcoinmysteryschool.com. Keep asking, what is Bitcoin? Let's see if we can dig deeper. I'll see you there in August.